Welcome back to part 2 of this video tutorial on how to create a website from scratch using Dreamweaver. Now this is brought to you by Z Tutorials and the last time in part 1, if you haven't seen it I have a link here, click on that, you'll need to watch that first but the last time we got a CSS template, a lovely CSS template here and we created an index page and we edited all that page up and we got links so that when we click on this link here it'll bring us to the YouTube page and today we're going to be working on how to create new pages like how to create a video page and a photo page and how to create um, put videos onto your website from YouTube and of course put photos onto them you have your file in now mine is in desktop and it's called test website and you're going to click on the index page and you're going to copy that and we're going to paste that back in now we're going to rename this video and we might as well make another one while we're at it so we go copy paste and I'm going to call this one photos so this is very good if you're, if you're a photographer you can put all your, your photos up on the web for free uh, call it what you want, blog, whatever it doesn't really matter and then we're just going to go back into Dreamweaver now you will have this option here more than likely and you'll have to find your test website so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into manage sites or it should it might say site here somewhere for you so we're just going to go into manage sites I'm going to click on new site now this is important because all your files will be in one place um, call it what you want just call it your website um, I'm going to call mine test website because I have other websites your local root folder that's where all your pages are stored just make sure that's where it's supposed to be inside your website folder uh, your local your default images folder just go into your images in your folder this is all in your folder so you just find it go into your images and select that uh, we don't need all this stuff yet that's not yet so just click on that and then click done and then it's going to bring up this lovely little page here where all your pages will be there it's just easier access really now we're going to open up our video page and as you can see it's identical to the index page um, it, so we're just going to edit that out so sorry that shouldn't be there right here right here we're going to put a video now how do we do that we just go on to the YouTube video that you want so let's say we want the first series of the Dreamweaver part one we just go on to this logo here end we click on that we open it and it will ask us to pick a border so we're going to pick green because it will match up perfectly with our green accents and then we click on the size now just click on 580 by 360 the smaller one because you can resize it into fit what you want and then you're going to copy this code make sure you have show border clicked it gives it a nice look don't click play in HD because if someone has a slow connection then they won't be able to really watch the video so just do that so we go back and you click wherever you want it it doesn't matter where you want you could have it there but I'm going to have it here so you just click where you want it and then right here where it says code split and design we're going to go into code now this is no code in or anything all you need to do is paste it in so control V or right click and paste and then we're going to go refresh right down here refresh will come up and then back into design and it'll give you this lovely box with nothing showing on it you don't even know if it's a video but that's just because you don't know you can resize it to fit the borders whatever you want uh, give it a name bring that down a bit give it a name uh, Dreamweaver tutorial part one and you're just going to save that then you go into your preview in Chrome and right here it's got your video and it's got a lovely green accent around it with all your stop your play and when they click on that it'll bring it to your YouTube page very very easy um, now when you click on home it, it, it won't really bring you anywhere photos nowhere so we need to link those pages so what we do is we go up here to the menu bar we highlight home 
and what you're going to do it'll have that as default a hash and we're going to go on to the link here and we're going to click on this point to file button it's just going to bring up an arrow and we bring it all the way over to index okay and we're going to do the same with video all the way over to video do the exact same thing on your index page point and drag over to index and on the video point to drag and drag over to video now we're going to open up the photos page so we're going to click on photos but before we're going to edit that we're going to go into our index page and right here where it says YouTube follow the link to find the best tutorials available subscribe and learn more so we're going to go on to the next line and here I want a YouTube logo and I want when people click on that logo it'll bring them to my channel so basically all you do is you just go into your web browser and you just go into Google Images and just click YouTube logo and I downloaded this image here when you download it you just put it into your website my is called test website just put it into your website folder and into images just like I did there very easy and then we're just gonna go back into Dreamweaver we're gonna click on images right here images gonna click on that into our images folder and find the YouTube logo right there so you click OK and this will pop up here alternate text we don't really need that just call it logo and long description that's a website we don't need that either so it'll bring up this lovely box now we don't want it that big obviously so what we're going to do is we're going to resize it to something like that we just want it nice and small so that when people click on it so that we want just people to click on it so there's YouTube logo there then you just go on to link here again and you just type in that http colon for for slash youtube.com user z tutorials and we're gonna make we're gonna make the target blank once again save that and preview in Chrome now when they click on this it'll bring them to a new tab and bring them to my my channel and when we click on the picture it'll do exactly the same thing so there's two ways there and it looks very very sleek and very very good but when you click on video it'll bring it to your video page just like we did and when you click on home it'll bring it to your home page photos won't bring you anywhere because we didn't link that yet so we're just going to do that really quick we're just going to go on to your index page highlight the photos click and drag to photo do the same on video and do the same on photo link all the pages so then we're just going to on the photo page we're just going to delete all that stuff we'll leave that actually and you just put in all your photos there by the exact same thing images save all the photos you want into your images folder very great if you're a photographer put a little description there etc well that's all we do with time for today so you have to learn how to put in videos and pictures and linking pictures etc and um, part three is coming next week in less than a week actually so subscribe and you will see that very soon um, if it helped um, leave a comment and subscribe uh, next tutorial is coming very very soon so stay tuned for that brought to you by Z2Talk